Madison is standing by right now. She's already talked to Tammy, who is standing by in Richmond, Virginia. Tammy, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. How can I help? So I'm a little nervous, so bear with me. That's okay. Um, Don't worry about it. I'm calling because I'm lacking clarity and confidence and the ability to move on from my current job. Mm Mm-hmm. I've been there for uh, almost 20 years. It was my parents' business. They wow. sold a couple of years ago. Wow. Um, I'm still working for the new owner, but uh-huh. my role has completely changed, and I'm pretty unhappy. Yeah. Um, I used to do all the bookkeeping and administrative-type tasks, and now I'm I'm totally flipped around, and I'm doing DOT things and hiring. Um, I don't like it. I'm miserable. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have to communicate regularly with the other offices involved, and... I'm kind of the odd man out now. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm undermined a lot. Mm -hmm. They don't value my experience or my input. Uh, I work with one person in my office instead of seven like it used to be. So Mm -hmm. I want to work around more people. I just don't know which, I don't know where to go. Yeah. Well, let's, 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 okay, good. And, and, and I'm glad you've admitted all this because this is, this is the first step really saying I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's got to change. So you're in the right place mentally and emotionally um, let's go back because you've been there 20 years this was a family business is it true mm-hmm. that you were once on fire and really loved your work is that true or not um maybe not because i didn't answer yes right away <laughs> yeah i think you're right um but let's go yeah. okay let's go a little deeper Instead of loving the job as a whole, were there parts of your 20 years or even a previous job? Were there parts of that work that you said, I really enjoyed this part, this part, and this part, but no, Ken, I can't say that I love the job even when mom and dad were in charge. Tell me what you did love. What are the clues that you can give me when I ask, what work do you love? You, You get excited thinking about this task or this role uh, when you're in the middle of it. You really have the juice. You just you just feel uh, very much alive, and you're enjoying the actual task or role, and uh, you you spend a lot of time on it. So it has high emotion and high devotion. What comes to sure. mind? Um, well, as far as my current or my my previous role in the company, I enjoyed the bookkeeping part. Um, not something I want to do full time all day. Um, I used to own a business, and I really got fired up. Um, I loved anything, everything from the beginning, from planning the, to open the business, buying all the store fixtures, going through everything that I would have to do. Um, I love planning events and projects and I really do enjoy, uh, planning a business that I want to open one day. Yeah. Okay. So these are good clues. So let me tell you what I wrote down. Bookkeeping, planning, execution, project management. Doesn't mean we want to do all of these things all day long. But these are clues to, I, you have had enjoyment when you've done some booking, bookkeeping before. And I think that's because you enjoy details and order. Am I right? right. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, let, let me give you an example. Tammy, I need Tammy's in my life because I don't like details. They, 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 they drain me. Just drain <laughs> me. Whereas you go, ooh, we got a little bit of a mess here. Uh, let me see all the parts <laughs> right. and let me order it and fix it. And it looks all organized and efficient. And you go, oh, that's good. Am I right? Right, right, okay. right. So I, I think, think you've, you've said number two, being the number two person. I do, you know, yeah. I have been that a okay, lot. Okay, great. So I think the clues yeah. here are, this is the work you enjoy doing. And I don't need to walk you through the rest of the get clear exercise, which is what do you do best? That's talent. I think you know mm-hmm. that. You're very clear on what you do mm-hmm. well. And by the way, you have the hard skills and soft skills that make you good at planning, execution, project management, all that stuff. You already have that. So you know that. Mm -hmm. It's really now pulling it all together, which is what are the results that matter most. The type, you know, you want to create these results out of your work. And again, we've got the clues here. I already told you and described you and you go, yeah, I love bringing order. I love bringing efficiency. I love being involved in planning and execution. So that's, those are the results, the results of all that planning and execution. Those are the results that fire you up, correct? Right. Yeah. All right. So the question is, yep. how do we find marketplace matches mm-hmm. where that sweet spot of yours, that, that one word role descriptor, which I don't do every day with callers. I'm going to start doing more of this. I'm going to put you on the spot. If you were going to 
describe yourself with one word, a professional in the marketplace, this is your role. Ken, if I'm filling this role blank, I'm in my sweet spot. I am a very happy camper. What one word comes to your mind? And by the way, you can change it two minutes from now. I don't care, but this is an exercise. So what comes to your mind? Have, uh, I have was, fun I'll with go it. back to number two person. I love it. I love it. So yeah. pick so pick a word. Let's have fun. Let's go further. So number two. You're a number two. But really, you know what you are? You are a, say it. What's a one word descriptor of what that number two embodies? Organizer. There we go. Again, oh. don't get hung up on that word. Okay, because yeah. a number two is like a COO, right? So that could be your word. Mm-hmm. I'm a COO. I'm an operations specialist. I'm a back end guru, whatever. I don't care. I'm just trying to free okay. your mind to where you go. Oh, I don't have to get so locked up on a job title. I just need to get clear on my role. And then I look in the marketplace and I see all the places where I can fill that role of number two or uh uh, operations or uh, fixer or uh, manager or uh, executor, you know, whatever. I don't care. But but you see where you're much clearer now than you were on the front of the phone call? Yeah, yeah. You know the yeah. kind of work that you love. So you're saying, Ken, I don't know where I want to go. Well, fair, you don't. But now you know what to look for. So the where takes care of itself now that you know the what. Got me? So if, right. So if I've been in this role so long, I have t- kind of lost touch with the rest of the business world. Yeah. I feel like I'm behind. I, nope. I actually make a very decent income and I don't think I can, can, that will, I can't get that in. I don't know. I'm just afraid I can't get that anywhere else. Well, you just, you, you just self-diagnosed. You could, you could, <laughs> you could, you could co-host the show with me one day. Cause you just said, I'm afraid <laughs> That I won't be able to make yeah. the kind of money. And and do you have any evidence of that? No, you don't. Not yet. Not yet. Well, you're trying to prove you're trying to disprove you and me wrong. Well, that's not a good mindset. Okay. You're you're walking into this going, Well, Ken, I haven't found the evidence yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure no one's gonna pay me. No one else is gonna find me valuable. <laughs> now, see, you're laughing. You're yeah, laughing because you're it right. sounds pretty silly when you hear it. <laughs> Okay, but we're not laughing at you and I'm not making fun of you. I'm just helping you see. Come on now. There's no evidence to this. You are afraid to stick your neck out there. You're afraid to look. But I've told you what to look for. Go look for it. When you go look for it, you're going to find you can make really good money because, Tammy, you are extremely valuable. You're just listen. This is not a winning situation for you. And I think you've allowed the transition to new owners and you were the, the owner's daughter, the founder's daughter. And it's a whole new world and there's all kinds of yuck and it's and it's just seeped into your head and your heart. And we just got you clear. Now let's move forward. 